And so luckily I've been able to be on treatment um, since I was first diagnosed. So I started treatment at 10 years old. I mean, I don't really know um, because I don't really have anything else to base it off, but I would say that it has helped me lessen symptoms that would have been worsen worsening over the years. Um, so I have always been able to keep up with treatment. Um, I've had tried a few different forms, which is nice. And just taking care of yourself and being aware of where your body is at the moment and not pushing yourself. I think being aware that you do have these limitations is extremely important in taking care of yourself. I would say a lot of it does come from advocating for yourself. Uh, the networking in the first place kind of has to be done by yourself as a patient. But yearly, I would see nephrology, cardiology, I see audiology, orthopedics, but I for joint issues, at least four or five doctors a year. And I also, my main fabric specialist is a metabolic specialist as well. He kind of is my point person as well in helping me coordinate and find the proper specialist that will be able to help me. Listen to the patients more. I think that patients have a much better understanding of their body and how the disease works for them than physicians realize. Um, Fabry is such a diverse disease, like symptoms vary from person to person, even within a family. And I think that taking the time to really listen to the patient is top priority. I was a very timid child in a lot of ways. So I started off with the infusions and I remember being very nervous, but my situation is unique because I have family members that already have gone through um, diagnosis, all of that. So I was lucky enough to have a lot of support um, when I was first going in, even I was like very nervous, but I still had a lot of information about what I was going into, which was very helpful. Now I'm on an oral medication. It definitely has changed my schedule a lot. I'm not um, hooked up to an IV every two weeks for several hours, which is, I think, important to me as an adult that I have more flexibility in my schedule to take care of my responsibilities. So yeah, I've always been pretty fortunate to have a lot of great specialists. I've, I can't really think of an experience that stood out as particularly bad. I've mostly been with uh, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia my entire Fabry journey. And they're a wonderful network with a lot of the same specialists for several years, which is nice. Um, but again, now I have to work on transitioning to adult specialists. Get connected. Find the community. Make sure you have that village on your side because that support and that connections and networking is super important. Educating yourself is a powerful tool. I think that's the best thing that you can do as a patient is just getting involved and educating yourself because you are your, your, your best advocate.